Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little first impressions of some new face products from ColourPop, of course. ColourPop never sleeps and they just launched through their line Pretty Fresh, which is like a subcategory or sub-brand under the whole ColourPop situation. And they came out with a hyaluronic tinted moisturizer as well as a hyaluronic creamy concealer. So I was really curious to try both of these out and I bought them together because I didn't want to just get the you know tinted moisturizer and then all of a sudden they announced that they were doing a concealer so then I was like perfect I'll just buy them both together so on the tinted moisturizer it does say that it is a hydrating HA tinted moisturizer for a lightweight coverage for fresh healthy looking skin and then it just says Prep your skin with the primer, which I didn't purchase. Use Pretty Fresh Blending Sponge, which my friend Makeup Just For Fun, Amanda, totally recommends. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't pick it up, but I also really like the Pow Pow Sponge from Shop Miss A, so I'm not too sad about it. And then just say, blend with the sponge or your fingertips to lightly dab and blend into skin. So that is kind of what I did for this look and then it is dermatology tested oil free gluten free paraben free and vegan i wanted to buy this because i thought it would be a good foundation for me to wear to work you know just when i don't need like a full coverage look and i really like how dewy this foundation is now i don't really expect that this is going to be a long wearing foundation um i think i've seen enough reviews where people say it's definitely just like a your skin but better look and you guys will see that in the application process which I did film as well. As far as the Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer, it is a long wearing full coverage creamy concealer infused with hydrating ingredients for a natural fresh finish and you just need to prep your under eyes with a eye cream and apply concealer to cover blemishes and even out skin tone. So I definitely need a concealer in my foundation routine. Like I have dark circles under my eyes and it's definitely, it's not something I'm insecure about, but if I'm going to do my whole face, I definitely want to wear a concealer just because this tinted moisturizer is not going to cover anything up. So I do think the products pair really well together. I'm going to go ahead and insert a demo of me applying both of these products now. So in case you're wondering about this eye look, it's gonna be in a separate video, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you know what the heck is going on. I'm gonna put this foundation on my face now. This is the Pretty Fresh in Medium Dark, which is 14W. I kinda guessed my shade, cause, you know, it's not like you can buy ColourPop um, in store. Oh, actually I lied, you can, can't you? Because uh, Ulta sells ColourPop. You can tell how much I go to Ulta based off of my commentary. So I've heard this is just honestly like a barely any coverage kind of situation. <laughs> and I'm using my um, Pow Pow sponge from Shop Miss A. Uh, my friend Amy got me hooked on this thing. She let me feel hers in New York and I was like, oh my god, it's so soft. And she's like, yeah, and it's only like a dollar or two. And I was like, well, every time I go on Shop Miss A's website, I can't tell which one I need to buy. And she's like, oh, it's this one. It's the Pow Pow one. Look for the Pow Pow one. And so, lo and behold, I was able to find it. And I have begun my love affair with the Shop Miss A Pow Pow sponge. And now they sell them in a pack of like six for like eight dollars like isn't that insane and I'm sorry I mean I buy beauty blenders when I can get them on a good deal but this sponge like will give the beauty blender a run for its money so definitely very very light coverage you can definitely still see my skin through this foundation I do like how dewy it looks um but I'm definitely more of a full coverage gal but I was curious to try this because I was like can I wear it to work like what kind of coverage is it going to give me I was very very curious so just to read off the box it says it's a hydrating HA which is hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer and yeah it was very light I definitely did like two pumps and I feel like it's so dewy 
And of course, I did buy the concealer as well. So I'm gonna put that on next. Okay, so here is the concealer shade. I got the shade Medium Dark 120W. This is the packaging. I feel like I didn't go very dark. Holy moly. Let's see. I need some coverage under my eyes. This is a very dramatic eye look, so I feel like I picked the wrong day to wear light coverage um, foundation, but that's okay. I like the packaging of the concealer. I like how tiny it is. Let's see if it'll help with the coverage of the foundation. I know the concealer came out recently. The foundation's been out for a while. I didn't want to buy it because I've been loving the Urban Decay Stay Naked um, foundation. I'm like, I don't need more foundations, but I was in a mood. I was in a mood to buy some things, and I was like, let me just buy this and try it. ColourPop. I'm curious, maybe I can wear it to work. You know, it's kind of inexpensive. And, yeah. Concealer definitely feels a little bit more coveragey. I don't know. I feel like I got the wrong shade. I feel like I could have gone a little bit darker. It's so hard to guess, you guys. I can stare at the swatches sometimes all day and it, like, does not pan out as expected. So... Wow. It's really weird to try a light coverage foundation when you're a full coverage human being because you feel like you don't have anything on your face. So I did reach for my ColourPop palette because I do have one of their um, pressed powders. This is their pressed powder in medium dark. Their no filter sheer powder. So I'm just gonna plop that on under my eyes to set it and I'm just gonna set like my mouth area and like my nose actually just kind of everywhere um, just so I can keep everything in place because I am planning on filming a few different videos today so here's what it looks like you guys can see my skin it hasn't dried down yet it feels kind of sticky it feels very cooling. My skin doesn't feel dry. I don't know about the shade match. As you can see, my shoulder definitely feels a little bit darker, but I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna finish my makeup first of all and I will be right back to show you how it all turned out. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. So these are the two products I used and here is the final look. I did like a full face of makeup and if you guys wanna see how I created this eye look, Definitely subscribe to my channel if the look is up already. I will link it for you guys somewhere in this video so you can watch it. I'm not going to tell you what palette I use because I want you guys to investigate. But um, overall thoughts on these two products, first impressions of course. I like it. Is it my usual vibe? No, because I'm definitely a full coverage gal. I am excited to keep trying this concealer because it is a full coverage concealer. It doesn't feel cakey or heavy. The foundation definitely feels like very cooling and hydrating. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but like for me when I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, it definitely feels like I have, well most of my full coverage foundations, it definitely feels like I have a foundation on. So this one is very lightweight. I love how dewy it looked when I put it on before I set it. Like that was beautiful. I have had this foundation on for about an hour, so I don't have a lot of thoughts on the longevity, but like I mentioned in the intro, I've seen a lot of reviews on this product and most people said it didn't last very long. I will definitely keep you guys updated on that in the comments or on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. But I hope you enjoyed. These are very affordable. I think both of these are under $10 if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure, but I will insert the price for you guys and I will also leave a Link if you guys want to shop ColourPop. I just love ColourPop so much. I know they are overwhelming because they come out with so much stuff, but I also love them because they have so much variety and it's such a like guilty pleasure for me to shop on ColourPop because I can spend $30 and find like a full face of fun new makeup to play with, which I think 
is a curse as well as a gift. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know if you've tried this foundation or if you're planning on picking this up. I guess I should call it a tinted moisturizer. Let me know all your thoughts, comments, brilliant insights down below. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.